Here is an individual who says, love, love your vids. I was diagnosed May 4th, 2020. My mother was diabetic also, so common. Your parents were diabetic. Your cousins, your sisters, brothers, relatives are diabetic. Now you are. My A1C was 8.6, not good. My glucose read 389, terrible, 389. I'll never forget the first time I took a blood sugar test when uh, my secretary uh, brought in a, brought me a glucose tester, my first Mike Demeter, and she had to show me how it works and how to test myself and how to prick my finger and all the rest, and uh, it didn't work for me for several times. I, I was too nervous. I couldn't hold that uh, Lansing device right up against my finger. That's really the trick. You want a good drop of blood, don't just barely touch your finger. Jam it right up against your finger and you'll get that drop of blood unless the needle uh, depth is turned down too low. So anyway, I took that test and I was thinking, man, what if it's 300? What if it's 400? You know, I think I would have almost died of a heart attack just seeing that number. It actually wasn't bad because my blood sugar was bouncing both directions in those days. It would go too high about an hour after finished eating, and then he would drop too low. And so I, I was seeing low blood sugar as much as I was seeing high blood sugar. So anyway, uh, 389, he says, I was shocked, totally devastated as I thought my diet was well controlled with no carbonated drinks, no red meat. Wow, feeling virtuous, feeling noble, feeling, feeling like he was on top of the game dietary wise. And yet he was a mess. I wonder how many people are like that. Oh, I'm going to avoid that red meat and I won't have a problem with diabetes the rest of my life if I can just stop the hamburgers and the steaks and the rump roast. Uh, he's like, I thought I was in good shape. Didn't, didn't drink soda, apparently. No red meat. He says, I was stunned to learn it was carbs and sugar that caused the body to go haywire. That's worth repeating. It was carbs and sugars saw a video the other day that said that sugar is the new fat. In other words, in the old days, we were told fat is evil, fat is a killer, fat is terrible for you, drop the fat, cut the fat, lower the fat. Now we're finding out everything you, they said about fat, you can just take out the word fat and replace it with the word sugar and carbs, especially the refined carbs, the processed carbs. But if you cross the line into diabetes, you've got to watch out even for the more natural carbs like potatoes, rice, and so forth, even brown rice, even quinoa. I mean, quinoa, the health people think quinoa is like the best thing that ever came into our planet for food. And yet that'll raise your blood sugar as much as white rice will. At least it was true for Benedict and me. He says, I've learned so much from this channel. I had my last day when C was 5.6, 5.6. From a, a, a glucose of 389 and an A1C of 8.6, now it's 5.6. He's well into the fives club because he learned that the problem is not fat. It's not red meat. It's carbs and sugar. I was so excited about my progress. I was taken off the meds. Hopefully with diet and exercise, I'll be able to maintain med free. Well, I think there's every... Uh, likelihood that you will. And so sometimes people ask me, Dennis, what meds have you taken in the past? And the answer is no diabetes meds. I've taken blood pressure meds, but no diabetes meds ever. I was determined to kick it without meds. And for the longest time, I didn't even go to the doctor when I knew I had a lot of problems. I did initially, but after that, it was like, I'm going to see what I can do with diet. And I didn't want to become diagnosed diabetic, and I was fearful I would be if I went to a doctor and he would diagnose me. And once I had that diagnosis, it, was, it would be like uh, nobody would want to insure me. That was before Obamacare. So uh, I just stayed away from doctors for a while. When I finally worked up the courage and felt like I was making significant improvement, went to the doctor and I was fine. I think my, the first A1C that I got when I started going back to the doctor after learning some things was a, my first A1C was a 5.8. And uh, I had, had thought, if you can just get into the fives, you'll be doing good. So I was elated. I, uh, I told the nurse uh, that told me what my A1C was, 5.8. I said, well, that's great. He said, well, no, actually that's pre-diabetic. <laughs> he wasn't quite as enthusiastic. And I learned that that wasn't really acceptable for me either. Uh, we all have to set our own targets. But 5.8 is a whole lot better than 8.6 like this individual had.
So he is now at 5.6, not even pre-diabetic. He says, I was excited about my progress. Well, I would be too. And so thankful to God for giving you the wisdom. Okay, here is an individual who left this comment. Thank you. Thank you for your videos. My doctor has gone from despairing comments on my management to calling me an inspiration as my A1C has dropped from 9 down to 4.6. Wow, that's just amazing. A 9 A1C, which is terrible, to a 4.6, which is like, that's what teenagers have. That's what 24-year-old young men have that work out in the gym and they're muscular. That's what they have, mid fours. And this person is at a 4.6 and they were at a 9. Is it even possible? You talk about reversing diabetes. I'd call that reversing diabetes. Now, I know there'll be the naysayers that'll say, yeah, but if he went back to eating those cakes and pies and all that sugar and all the junk and all the white bread, why, I bet he'd go right up back up to the nines. Well, yeah, I think he would. But who says he's got to do that? And who says you have to prove that you're normal by eating junk and poison and still having a great A1C? The truth is almost nobody can do that. And the only people that even come close to doing that, that is eating a lot of foods that are not low carb, they're not very good for you, but they they can still get by with it, are people who are typically on the very slim side and they eat small portions. So yeah, they eat some things that we might say, "Eh, I don't think they should, but they eat such small portions it hardly matters. So 4.6, poster child for beating diabetes. We get these testimonies all the time. Four, I know I've said it and I'm repeating myself, but I'm so amazed myself. I've got to just keep saying it. 4.6 from a nine, A1C. How can you not be excited about that? And how can that not give you hope? Maybe you won't do it as fast. Maybe you won't get down to the force. I've never been at 4.6 since I've been testing my A1C. So, you know, I'm not going to try to pretend, yeah, I'm right there with him. I've, I've been ranging from 4.8 to 5.0 in the last few A1Cs. But anybody can get into the fives, almost anybody, let me just say. And uh, if you can get into the fives and you've been at 8, 9, 10, 12, uh, you've made a major accomplishment. And who knows, you might end up in the fours. If you do, thank God. And if you don't, if you're still in the fives, you've saved yourself a world of grief. He says, uh, it's all due to you and a bit of Dr. Jason Funk. So a good portion of Dennis and a smaller portion of Dr. Jason Funk. In other cases, it's a big portion of Dr. Funk. I respect him greatly. He's helped a lot of people and a lot more than I have for sure. And he is a medical doctor. So those of you that complain, well, you're just a lowly preacher. Well, yeah, I am. But I I follow doctors and I, I side with one group. There's Different groups of doctors, you've got yours that just push medicine at you, and that's all they do. Then you've got the whole foods, plant-based doctors, and then you've got the low-carb doctors. So you you take your your choice. You take your pick. And I pick the low-carb doctors, like Dr. Jason Fung, Eric Westman, uh, different ones. If you've recently been diagnosed with diabetes and you've just discovered this channel, let me recommend that you go to our uploads page, which will give you access to every diabetic video we've posted since we began. As you work your way through all our videos, I believe you'll find the help you need. A link to our uploads page is in the description.